Today I'm checking out the village of Weedsport, New York. Uh, Weedsport was named after a merchant, Edward Weedsport, who used the Erie Canal um, to transport his his uh, capital. Uh, this little village is in Cayuga County, and there's approximately 18 the population is approximately 1800 folks who live in weed sports so let's check it out well 2000 people i was mistaken 2000 i'm not sure when this sign was erected but according to wikipedia it was 1800 Check out this house. Going down the residential road. That's a very old house. That lo looks like it used to be a carriage house back in the day. Wow. Talk about Adam's family. Holy cow. I would not spend a night here. That's, that's the Bates Motel for sure. A bunch of colonials here. Very old houses in in Weed Sport, New York. I got my bike here to make my travels a little quicker. We're gonna wisp through this little town without a sweat. That's a beautiful, very old colonial looking house oh what is that up there let's go check it out that almost looks like a dull house another very old house looks like a carriage house used to be in the back these are very old homes in weed sport Looks like a cheerful little, cheerful little town. A lot of people are walking around, enjoying the outdoors. A lot of humongous homes though. Not sure how much that would cost to heat in the winter time. I'm sure it's a ton. That's like a $5,000, 5,000 square foot house right there. Yep, so this town was erected in 1831. As you can see, not much has changed. It seems these buildings are ancient. You can use a facelift, but I do like the old town charm. And it's getting a little late. It's about 6.30 right now. But there's a nice church. And... Not much going on in weed, weed sport. Well, maybe some weed sports going on in weed sport, but that's about it. I'm not seeing too much action here. Me falling off the bike, trying to get off. But yeah, there's churches, big colonial houses, and let's see what, what else they got. Nino's Pizzeria. Bear Stuffing Company, Barber Shop. What is this? Photography Studio. A salon. There you go, the Smith and Company Salon. There's a bar across the street called CJ's. I love the brick buildings though. And there's a bar what is this? That may not be in operation. The sign looks outdated. What's this? What is that? Bunch of junk in there. This looks like an abandoned building over here to my left. We're gonna keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. I'll try not to get hit by a car. Company Aflac, another photography place. 
sequence of this shadow box. Not sure what that is. There's another demolished business that has no chance here in Wheatsport. Followed by another one. Seems like folks are giving up on Wheatsport. Inside just empty storefronts throughout this small town. There's a restaurant across the street, Old Erie Restaurant. That looks like it's probably closed as well. Not another hair salon. I see a Chinese restaurant across the street. Brewing Company. Okay, this is worth checking out. Lunkenheimer Crafting Brewery. That looks fancy. It's about to open too, so it's not in operation yet, but I hope they make it here. Seems like there's a bar in every corner antique store, as you can see. Auto parts over here. Big building for auto parts. And there's a museum. It's called Old Brutus Museum and Historical Society. So that's that looks like an Erie Canal Museum. Let's see if we can take a peek. That guy looks like Chucky kind of eerie look at those shoes wow the, po the weed sport post office what's this over here why working women must vote there's a whole article about vote voting rights for women yeah, I, I don't know about weed sport. I do know they have a popular outstanding ice cream spot called DB DB's. It's a diner, but it's famous for their ice cream because this place is always, always popping. Always popping. Let's take a look. The diner seems to be pretty small, but yeah the place usually is always popping let's take a walk around seems like the only happening thing in wheat sport is the ice cream store and let's check out the mural over there lots of flavors the Weed Sport Mural. Let's take a peek. Let's learn a little history over here. Your canal in Weed Sport was established between 1900 to 1910. Middle of Erie Drive. Oh, okay, so uh, it used to cross here. And there she is. Let's see. Cool. We have an Ace Hardware store. And if you're looking for a job in weed sport, there you go, help wanted. Wonder how much they pay. And their main supermarket is called, can't really read the name, but it's called Shores, Shores Fine, Sure Fine. Weed Sports Supermarket. There she is. Oh, 
overall, everyone that I'd seen out here smiled and nodded and waved and said hello. So, kind of riding around the residential spots and it seems extremely surprisingly pretty and well kept. You see there's a little park down there. We'll check it out. But I like the sidewalks. A lot of folks out and about enjoying dog walks. And, and again, it is a beautiful day out there. But let's check out that park that we just drove past. But yeah, very American little town. Lots of pride here. Quiet, very quiet town. No hustle and bustle here. It's not that far from larger towns and cities. So if you're looking for a place to raise a family, this seems like a nice place. Not much to do. Not much to do, but you can always find something to do if you want in any town. Let's see. That big house. Basketball court in the backyard. That's a pretty one too. I'm gonna add 10 more, 10 more points to Weed Sport because I did not see how pretty their residential areas are. The village needs a facelift. I'm not gonna lie, the village does. It can be a lot more welcoming. But this is pleasant. I'm enjoying this. So I'm gonna check out this little park. Maybe it's not little, maybe it's a big park. This is called, I think they called it Central Park. What's this? That's the elementary school, Weed Sport Elementary School. Okay, so it's the school's playground. Yeah, I bet Eric would love to run around here. Look how pretty that looks, the mountaintop. Let's see if I can go up there. Maybe there's a better view I can glance from above. Let's find out. All right, so I made it up this small hill, but I'm not going up that trail into the woods. And I will take a guess that's gotta be their middle school or high school back there. But very nice, very well kept. Schools seem Pretty well kept here in Weed Sport. Oh man, I'm huffing and puffing. That's what happens when you have a desk job. At least I get to go downhill from here. Look at that pretty house. Purple shutters. That's the school, elementary school, from the main entrance. Now, if you live in Weed Sport, most of the folks I see driving here drive a truck, but the high class folks upscale the top, the cream of the crop. There you go. You got a Camaro lifted. Have you seen anything 
like this before. You can only find this here, bad boy, in weed sport. I have never seen a Camaro with a lift kit like this. See? There you go. The ladies love it. How do you get into that thing? That's a whole different question. Holy cow. Weed Sport New York's got the nicest rides. And here we got the Weed Sport Fire Department. There you go. The Weed Sport Fire Department. Now it looks like another park. I'm gonna check it out. Trolley Park. Welcome to Trolley Park. Let's see what Trolley Park has to offer. Got a giant baseball field. Some picnic tables. Nice size pavilion. I see one grill. We need more grills here. And a little playground. Cute little park in the middle of town. There you go. Very patriotic little town. Look at that church. Lots of Harleys and American flags. My kind of town. Check out the windows, the glass. It's nicely decorated. What's this church? How old is it? 200 years, 300 years. It's the first Baptist church. <sighs> no year posted, but the first Baptist church of Weedsport. Hmm. say when it was built? Nope, it does not. We'll carry on. I'm at the Old Erie Restaurant. Place is pretty big and it looks like it's been closed for a little while. Just like most stores that I've run into, there's another mural take a peek. I see the Erie Canal. There we go. And I guess this is what the town used to look like 100 years or so ago. You guys just chilling on a bridge debating if he wants to jump. No, I'm just kidding. That's it. That's how the goods would come through the village here. Before trains, before cars, and I see that guy forgot to untie his dog, just like in that family vacation movie. Poor guy trying to chase him down. We got the big rooftops. There's an air balloon. Nicely done. This painting is called a balloon over weed sport. And I think this concludes concludes. I can't even talk, I'm dehydrated. All this biking. For a fat, out of shape guy, give myself a little pat on the back. So, back to the Batmobile I go. Riding through some alleyway.
trying to at least. And I am back at the hub, the Adams Family House. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Peace out, be well, and God bless.